cute. guys this is the next day uh, I have two tires ready to go and I'm driving back right now about 60 miles away I'm driving back to install those two tires and then I'm gonna grab the other two tires and bring them here and once again I'm doing this just because I don't want the you know to see the car just sitting on jack stands all this time that's why I'm doing two tires and then today I'm gonna do another two tires because I don't want to you know I don't want to just leave the car on jack stands a few moments later all right we're back I'm about to install these two tires and grab the other two this tire is still gonna stay here it's really interesting how these look on this car you guys like it <laughs> 14 inch butt wheel on w124 i guess some people have done it before maybe with some spacers yeah a little bit you know just a little bit torn up right there which is normal but the car still rides amazingly we'll see if i have time i might replace these it's not a huge deal but brakes are okay there's no play on this wheel i gotta clean this corrosion but yeah it's got bilstein shocks right there axle boots are still good so Exhaust, not bad, not bad whatsoever. All right, tire is installed. All right, and then obviously go ahead and if you want to you can go ahead and spin the wheel make sure everything is good in this case everything is good as you can see i added the wheel weights right there the sticky weights because i don't want anything to be on the outside yeah and then the wheels will get cleaned up later so they're gonna look really good i really love these jacks so amazing they don't make cars like they used to seriously you know they didn't even supply spare tires or donuts anymore this car has everything so the coolant is not leaking it's like right there on the bottom i just want to top it off i got some european coolant blue one i'm gonna top it off okay it's so installed new tire to the side and then i'm gonna spin it to make sure that everything is good and nothing is rubbing mainly the wheel weights so i put the wheel weights the sticky weights right here and there the there's that's where this thing is located the caliper so i want to make sure everything is good with that so the wheel is all tightened up and now i'm gonna spin it it's good some brake noise that's okay but now look at the wheel weights there's still a gap so they're still okay they're not rubbing everything is good there that's all that i'm concerned about perfect because i tell you guys i don't like having sticky weights or actually regular weights right here like it used to be see one hour later That this tire was all right.
right guys this is the next day today what i'm doing is i'm replacing these uh bulbs all right one of them was burnt out so i'm replacing both of them installing both brand new bulbs uh, they were like man they were kind of expensive they were like i think 40 or 30 dollars each uh yeah but they're really good bulbs and they're gonna last for you know a long time so and then it's interesting because uh, uh, it's a three pin connector and so there's three pins and this is actually for high beam and low beam all together this one's still okay but i'm just gonna do both of them at the same time Push it in and then grab your ring. There you go. Clicks on and that's it. Plug it back in like that and reinstall the cover. Then we're gonna finish that side and we're gonna retest it. I already had this one disconnected, so the only thing I have to do, as you can see, this one's a little burnt up, which is not good. But I'm gonna make sure there's no corrosion in there, all right? And that it's all working properly. The old bulb was literally just burnt out. So I'm gonna install the bulb. Wiggle it in like that and then the ring don't forget the ring there you go. the ring is on connect it perfect so easy yeah you can't do this with brand new cars if you want to change the bulbs in brand new cars good luck you're gonna have to probably remove the front bumper and the whole headlight assembly just to get to the bulbs <laughs> and these things are amazing there you go so this is not needed anymore because i brought amazing two more tires that i replaced and balanced yesterday As you can see these uh supplement bushings are a little tired a little tired but like i said it's got bilstein shocks and all the way around and this brake hose doesn't look too bad i mean brake pads are good and everything i'm gonna put some uh, lube on this flange so it doesn't corrode before i install that wheel axle boots are still alive and that one too so that's good news i'm just gonna put it right here After that, make sure you spin the tire. Everything is good. It's in neutral, by the way. All right, so we're gonna replace this diff fluid and I already started cleaning everything up here. And uh, I'm gonna try my best and clean that breather on top of the diff just to make sure it's not clogged up because that's important because it can, if that breather on top of the differential is clogged up, it's gonna cause some uh, leaks and you will think that something else is going on, but that, so you gotta check that breather on top, that guy right there. The crazy part is this drain plug wasn't even tightened fully. He was literally like loose, you see? I didn't have to put much force to loosen it. And obviously before I drain it, I'm gonna clean it some more. And then uh, before I actually remove the drain plug, I have to loosen the filler plug on top, top left. So there is that breather. 
and the best thing is obviously on W124s and 190Es and stuff it's hard to take them off because there's no space but on like 123s you can take these off and W126s you can also take these breather uh, parts off there's like a you have to use an open end wrench but you can you, you can do it but since I can't do it here I'm just gonna clean it as much as I can I'm gonna poke inside of it I just don't poke too crazy in there but just gotta clean out this dirt oh it was replaced before huh it was but we're gonna replace it again just to make sure that it has a, the best of the best fluid in there that's fine okay just installed this tire and this is the last one we have fresh set of tires amazing it's gonna finish tightening this a little let it drain a little more and put the drain plug back this time we're gonna tighten it all the way like it's supposed to be German tight and we're gonna put fresh fluid in all right guys this is the diff fluid that I'll be using 75 W 140 the same fluid I use for W140 bends it's probably gonna take a little under two quarts So full, now I clean the drain plug, putting it back. All right, that is it my friends, the, the fluid change is completed. Just cleaned the spare tire and filled it up. And I put it back in the trunk. You spray the fluid film everywhere for preservation. All right, let's check the headlights. Working, working. Let's do the high beams.